You should feel better now. Yeah, I can already feel the difference. Say what? I'm looking at the clouds like, ooh. Why? Oh, no, it's not bad. Stop sign. wife warm up with my uh, the liner to my overpants. I have my Kevlar pants on right now, so I'm pretty much fine, but she was like, ooh, I'm chilly. <laughs> so I gave her my overpants, activated a second cam, so you should be able to see her now. Right now we are on 191, and we're just going to, it's a little bit of an uphill, so we're going to take a little... Uh, short ride through here pretty much going at or below the speed limits and anybody that's not happy with that I'll just move over and let them go by no big deal so uh, yeah we're gonna take 191 on down I planned out this route which ought to bring me down near the Delaware River Gap onto a road called River Road so hopefully should be a good ride I hope you guys do enjoy Uh, I look thank I'm thankful to be able to bring you guys along. Just scrubbing off a little speed here. Unfamiliar road, so. So you know, I know I had a comment in the past where somebody told me that uh, they felt the V-Star 1300 didn't have enough gusto to ride two up. And, hmm, you know, I kind of, I don't know, I kind of wonder about that because we've been out today and we're on this back on the stock shock, which is on the second to last level for preload which is what I had it on. I actually have one more level, which I probably should have put it on, but that's fine. And, um, you know, power-wise, it's been doing pretty good. You know, handling-wise, it does pretty good too, but, you know, I'm not ripping and roaring, and so I'm just taking my time, and we're just cruising along. With the progressive shock, of course, handling is a lot better. With the progressive springs up front, that's really nice. You know, the only thing that you will notice with the power of the 1300, you, you have to hold each gear a little bit more. So it's not a whole lot of low-end grunt like bikes like the, uh, the Harleys M8 and Indians 111, which those have a lot more CCs than me. I'm only at 80. And, you know, a lot of times riding alone, that's pretty good. Oh, that was a bump riding alone you know that's actually pretty good um but when it gets to two up it's decent you know you just have to hold each gear a little bit longer because it doesn't have a lot of grunt you got a nice little waterfall there on the left hand side which is beautiful and um this is looking like a really nice road wow climbing up the mountain here so, I mean, you know, me personally, I, I can't say that I'm not happy with it. And it's it served us well. It's, it's done a great job. And, uh, you know, we really, we really do like it. I just have to start this GPS quick. Camp Dyna. That's fine. See, again, here we go. So you start off, you hold the gears a little longer. And, I mean, if we're going up a hill, 
not much issue. So, I don't know, I can't complain. That's probably why I haven't really felt the need to jump to a bigger bike. You know, do you guys feel that the amount of CCs you have is enough for you, whether you ride one up or two up? What makes you feel that it's time for you to upgrade? Do you just get used to the power or you feel you're acclimated and it's time for you to, to jump to something that's a little more, a little more powerful, a little more stunning? I don't know. I'm just curious as to what you guys think. Wow, we're like a thousand. Our elevation right now is 1,041. problems holding you know set speed that I may want it to hold and uh, like I said the only thing is suspension definitely needs upgrade and definitely got to go to that progressive rear shock and uh, even that uh, progressive front springs with a little stiffer fork oil is nice you can probably mix some tenon tenon maybe 10 and 12 or 10 with a little bit of 15 I got 15 in there right now and it's a little too a little bit too much but it's all right I probably would do it again I'll do the 10 with a little bit of mix in a little bit of 15 you know just to firm it up a little bit more but not too much 15 is a little too firm but it's nice I can I can live with it for now to the next change while well, do something different. Appalachian Trail right there. Wow. That was the Appalachian Trail. I just saw the sign there that said it. Ooh, chilly up here, huh? Oh boy. Anyway, we're gonna run this on down towards the river. Retreat center. Well, I hope you guys are enjoying the ride. I'm not really too sure if I'm gonna split this up or what I might end up doing with it, but so long as we have fun. I'll probably end up coming back a little bit later. Just so that you can, you can check out some of the views. But I'll let the camera roll for a little bit.